Suivez les championnats du monde avec Adidas, équipementier des équipes de France de judo. Hi Jimmy, uh, the key of the semi-final between Kyla and Audrey seemed to be the sleeve. What, what was your counsel for her, or your advice is? Yeah, without, without question, Audrey is very, very physically strong and typically uh, she needs the Kayla sleeve in order to make her, uh, her right, Kayla's right sleeve in order to do her own sotogari. So tactically, we try to keep that right sleeve free, which we seem to have a lot of success with today. It just didn't work out for Kayla. But, um, you know, also is to push the pace hard with Audrey at the beginning because she's physically so strong that uh, we need to weather the storm for the first couple of minutes and, and take the match deep in hopes that we can overcome that strength in the end. Uh, it just, we just came a little bit short today, that's all. And behind Kyla, there is uh, Nick Del Popolo, Travis Stevens. There is a young generation improving. Uh, what can explain this, this success? You know, we've been working with these kids. We've had a, we, we identified them as youngsters, you know, ages 17 through 20, and said, this is our future. And I took on that job as coach back then when they were juniors. Now they've developed it into American seniors with a good base and fundamentals and a lot of confidence. So now they're competing at the world stage. You know, we had Marty Malloy who made it to the semifinals. Uh, she, she finished fifth. We've had Travis Stevens win, you know, Grand Slam events and being in the finals of, of a Grand Prix this year. Uh, Kayla on the world podium and uh, some other youngsters, Nick Del Popolo, Michael Eldred, that are up and coming. So, you know, the future looks good for our sport uh, in American judo. Uh, this time before any other, our team is young. Kayla's 21. You know, Nick is 22. Marty's the oldest at 24. You know, so I think a future for American judo looks good.